what is up everybody welcome back to another video and this video is going to be very similar to the last one just probably longer we're talking about paul pascaloni moving on from the lions so let's get it started <laughs> Okay, so you're probably like, why are you making a second video? You know, you're just trying to make, no, I'm not trying to make a lot of videos. I'm making a second video because my last one, my update video was so short. I was like, you know what? Let's make another one. I had to make it short because I had stuff to do. I had stuff outside and stuff. I was like, I gotta go do this. I'll tell them what happened, but then I, I gotta end it. So that's what I did. Now, this one will probably be a little bit longer. I don't know how much. There's not tons to talk about here, but there's a little bit. And there's also some articles to read here. So that's what we'll do in this video. Um, so basically, Paul Pascaloni stepped away from football he stepped away from the nfl so did their offensive line coach and we're really going to be focusing just on paul pascaloni in this video i guess i heard he was on his last year of his contract last year so we didn't have to technically fire him but we knew i like jeff davidson that's who the offensive line coaches but we knew like something would come out if he did and today he stepped away so it wasn't like they had to officially fire him now here's a little bit of a comment i guess you would say it says coach p is one of the best men i've ever been around on both personal and professional uh levels patricia said in a statement i owe him so much and i'm grateful for the impact that he had on players coaches and support staff so like I said, he's moved away from the Lions now. He's bounced around a lot. He came here to Detroit. He was Patricia's dude. And now we're looking for a new defensive coordinator. At least I think so. I don't think necessarily Matt Patricia's going to want to do all the defensive things. There's a lot that goes into coaching. And, you know, taking all those, both those responsibilities can have a big difference. Like, it's different for Patricia just to focus on defense in New England. And then to come to Detroit and be the head coach and also be the defense coordinator is a lot. So I think that's why Paul Pascaloni was here to kind of try to help out with that or at least the adjustment period for Matt Patricia because he was new to this, his first time ever coaching. So I think Paul Pascaloni was that guy that he brought in. Look, hey, I'm going to help you out for a little bit. I don't know how long I'll be here, but I'll help you out. And obviously the results may have something to do with how well, uh, how soon he got out of here. Okay, so Pascaloni was two years with the Detroit Lions as their defensive coordinator. And, you know, they, they had a solid season, I would say, in 2018. I think they finished off the season 10th ranked in the league, which was pretty good. But obviously, this season, our past season, was pretty much awful, okay? Um, they were 31st in yards allowed and 26th in points allowed. So it was awful, and everybody was calling for him. Uh, because we know, as fans, that the defense has to be with the defensive side of things, right? There's two main defensive guys here. We know Matt Patricia, who's a defensive guru, and we know Paul Pascaloni, who's a defensive coordinator. One of those guys have to be the problem. Maybe both of them are the problem. Some people believe that this is going to solve nothing. Either way, we're still going to struggle defensively because it's the same dude. Like, like it's still Matt Patricia's defense. Other people believe that firing Paul Pascaloni is the right step in the right direction. And it could be. It definitely could. I don't think it'd get any worse. So I don't really have a problem with them firing him or not firing him, but him moving on. It was, it was a bad last season. And apparently he's 70 years old, which doesn't surprise me. Okay, this guy's moved all around a lot. So the fact that he wants to retire, I completely respect. And I'm okay with that. Um... I, I, I mean, again, I think the reason that we brought him in was for the simple fact this was going to be a guy that could come in and help Patricia with that period of trying to really learn. Now, after two years under his belt, knowing that the third year is a must win, he may say, you know what, I'm going to be the defensive guy. I'm going to take over defensive play calling because I can't be this bad again. And in 2018, it wasn't that bad. So I'm not sure what happened from 2018 to 2019. Hopefully it fixes. But I do know that Matt Patricia is on the hot seat as well as Bob Quinn. They're going to be doing everything they can this offseason. And with that being said, I know that Matt Patricia is going to either have to find someone that he knows because it, it's going to be hard. If you're must win next season and Matt Patricia brings in a guy that he doesn't necessarily know, that could be tough. Now, they didn't really know Daryl Bevel that well. Daryl Bevel was just a heck of an offense coordinator. But I think the defensive coordinator side is different knowing that Matt Patricia was a defensive coordinator, right? He's not going to bring in a guy, I would believe, he's not going to bring in a guy that has a completely different defensive mindset than he does. Because that kind of ruins what he does. And he's like, okay, I'm not going to take that kind of backseat. I'm the coach, but I'm also part of the defense. So I'm assuming what we're going to see is either him hire a guy that he knows he's been with or not hire anybody at all. I think he will hire someone. Maybe he'll bring up someone that's already on the staff just to kind of fill in as defensive coordinator. It'll still be his defense next season. And he'll have a guy that kind of just there to enforce stuff, help out, take some pressure off of Matt Patricia because he still has the head coaching responsibilities. But I don't necessarily think it'll be a completely different guy. Like, we're not going to go get the defense coordinator from San Francisco, at least in my opinion, because that's his defense. I don't think Matt Patricia wants a completely new defense, and I think it could mess with him stuff. Next year's a must-win year. We'll see. I think Patricia's going to have a lot of control over next year's defense, knowing how bad it was this season and how much it really cost us during the season of winning and losing. But I do want to say, you know, all respect to Paul Pascaloni. I'm kind of glad he's gone. I want to see what happens. But I do respect what he's done 70 years 
this dude must have been doing something right to at least get enough jobs where he was a defense coordinator or at least part of football teams for 70 to be 70 years old so that's impressive okay so hopefully outside of football he has a good retirement i don't think he's coming back anytime soon so hopefully he has a good retirement and he's you know he he has a good retirement i don't know what else to say about it but there you go let me hear your thoughts comments below this is gonna be interesting off season we'll see if they sign anybody or who they'll hire we'll probably start looking at names soon but there you go thank you for watching and i'm out